the garage once again. We're on the, I guess you could say the final steps of getting the car ready for the season. Um, <clears throat> the last thing that I have to do, well there's a few small things with the last, I guess second to last big thing is the coilovers. So I want to take them out of the car, disassemble them, uh, clean them up very well. You see I got a bunch of cleaners uh, to try and rejuvenate them as best I can, see if I have to buy any parts for them. Uh, I don't think I have to, but you don't really know until you get into them. The unique thing about the BC Racing coilovers is they're completely rebuildable. So you go to BC's website, you can get the collars, the uh, lower perch mount, the upper mounts, you can get the uh, camber plates, you can replace almost everything individually. So that's what I'm going to try and accomplish here today. This is something that I would definitely recommend people do at least annually. Uh, probably not more than that, kind of doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but we're going to go ahead, get the wheels off, get the coilovers out, get them up here on the bench, and we'll uh, go from there. We've got the coilovers all removed from the car. You can see they're pretty filthy. They are um, from 2012. So uh, in the very bottom of the shock body, you can see where it says 2012. Uh, they're old coilovers. They have, I don't know how many miles on them. I'm sure it's over 100,000 miles on them. They still run fine. Uh, I do plan on, like I said, replacing some of the shock bodies. You can see some of them are in very rough shape. Uh, the threads are just completely eaten up. So I'm gonna start by getting a wire brush and just cleaning up the threads as much as possible, just in an attempt to try and get any of the loose dry debris off of them before I add any liquids to it. Uh, so we're gonna get the wire brush and get started.
All right, cool. So we've got the coilover completely disassembled. The only two things I don't have disassembled is the uh, camber plate, the actual sliding part. It's four screws. I'm gonna go ahead, get the chemicals ready, and I'm just gonna clean each part off individually, get it as clean as possible, and then I'll start the reassembly process. Um, I'm not gonna show you the other three corners doing them just because it's kind of boring, but I'll get you the end result. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead, hop on to cleaning these parts all up, reassembling this, and then we'll uh, get it all put back onto the car. The coilovers all cleaned up, everything scrubbed individually. Uh, what I did was an engine degreaser first, uh, just to try and break down any grease or oils on there. Then I did a super clean wheel cleaner. Wheel cleaner is just what I had. Uh, traditionally, I would use regular super clean, uh, but I don't have running water, so straight super clean is a little aggressive. So I just use a water bottle spray bottle with water in it to help rinse them off. I brake clean them and then I water down some of the parts again. Uh, so everything is now done. I did add a little bit of PB Blaster to uh, some of the bearings on here just to make sure that there's nothing in there causing corrosion. Uh, so we've got all of it cleaned up. We're gonna go ahead and start the reassembly process. <laughs> That's just kind of a basics of what it takes to rejuvenate these. Like I said earlier, um, not a whole lot of work. Uh, I've only done one so far from, if I had just removed it, disassembled it, cleaned it and put it back together, I would say maybe 30 minutes for the one front coilover. I've got to do the rest. I'd say for you, if you set aside a Saturday, you can get all four of yours disassembled, cleaned up, and reassembled. It's worth it, because say, a year down the road, you decide you want to change your ride height. Making sure these things are free moving is going to make all the difference. One thing I need to replace on the first one that I did is the two studs are missing. I only have one of them. Uh, I was just running a normal bolt in there, only because the two studs went missing when I got them shipped to me. So I'm going to call BC Racing, and I'm going to order that tonight. Those are something that I can install at any point. I don't have to remove them to get them installed. So now all that is left to do is for me to clean the other three and then I'll get back with you guys so we can get them put back on the car. Thankfully, we have YouTube magic. I got one finished, but at the flick of a finger, I can have all four done.
boom all four shocks are completely clean now um it went pretty smoothly nothing was seized i didn't have to like get like pipe wrenches out and hammer on anything the only two things that i found that need to be fixed is the left rear corner the uh cap that tops the spring kind of retains it in place it was seized to the uh shock shaft i couldn't get it off if I had spent more time on it and added heat to it and you know really worked at it, I'm sure I could have gotten it free, but I just really, I didn't feel like it. So I just didn't, I left it on there. Um, and then the front left one, when I went to clean it, it was, I guess, oily. I don't know if it was the actual shock itself leaking or if that's from me putting PB Blaster on it, you know, X amount of weeks ago. I don't really know. I went ahead, I cleaned it up, so it's gonna be a clean slate. After I drive the car a few hard times, I'll be able to look back in there again and see if that shock is in fact leaking. Um, but I won't know until I drive it. Other than that, everything came out really well. It all cleaned up very decently. Uh, I have no complaints. So the only thing left to do now is to get it back on the car. And once again, we're gonna do the old fashioned YouTube magic. And just like that, coil levers are back on the car, wheel and tire setup is put back on the car, and now I can race happy or sleep happy knowing that my coil levers aren't gonna fail on me. So now that the coil levers are all finished, that only leaves me with a few things left on my list of things to do. Um, let me find my Sharpie. I can go ahead and cross this off the list. So, coil lever disassembly finished. I have to do a muffler next. I got the new muffler. It's uh, in the box around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. New muffler. I got a Vibrant Performance. It's going to sound similar to what I have now, but I'm having an issue with the current muffler, which I'll put that in the next video. Um, I have to do brake fluid flush, which I'm going to do that off camera probably. My wide band gauge failed, so I have to replace the uh, wide band gauge. I have to get a new battery and then an alignment. So I've got to add the alignment to the list. That's everything else that I have to do to the car before it's uh, race ready. But we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here, guys. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoy the video. Maybe it shows you how simple rejuvenating or cleaning your coilovers really is. And don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment down below, and I'll catch you in the next one.